Hey, so today I'm getting IPR. I have nose line and my teeth are pretty overcrowded. So rather than getting my teeth pulled, which was an option that I didn't want, I have instead got IPR to shave down between my teeth and create slightly more space in my mouth. So I have had IPR twice before and this is my third session and I thought it would be fun to make a video, take you along and show you what it's like to actually get IPR. So I quite like that my orthodontist is doing a few different rounds. So I think the first time he focused on this area up here, the second time he focused on this area here. So I guess it's better in my estimation to have a few rounds and spread out a little bit rather than a really long, a really traumatic session. So I have a little bit of IPR today. I have two more sessions planned, so I think I have five in total. And yeah, I'm ready to take you along today and see what the IPR process is like from the patient's perspective. This is not gonna be an in-depth like how-to in my mouth at all. This is just gonna be my experience with getting IPR and yeah how I feel, how my teeth feel, and what you could expect as a patient getting IPR. Anyway, so it is like 20 minutes until I need to head. I am gonna go early, see if I can get a good parking spot, and I will see you at the orthodontist. So here we are at the orthodontist. Here is my ortho Roo. He is fantastic. If you're in Dundee, I wholeheartedly recommend Beam Orthodontics. So this session of IPR, I came in in a really positive mind space and Ruha designed my whole treatment plan, shown me in advance and I knew exactly when my IPR was coming. The plan was to make more space in my incredibly overcrowded mouth. So these are the tools that he's using. There has been a little metal floss strip that isn't on this table then these are the IPR bits. They look like flossing bows to me, but they do clip in. And I'm gonna be honest, these sound just like a dentist drill. They're loud. But the sound didn't bother me. What I noticed most was the vibration. It was incredibly intense. It was numbing, like a buttery vibration. But the saving grace was it was over incredibly fast. It was, I wanna say maybe one minute per gap and I just sat up and had a little rinse out. There was no bleeding on my gums this time and there was absolutely no lasting pain. Here are the tools. You can see the IPR bits are looking a little used and here is my treatment plan. So the little red lines are showing where I've had IPR and how much was taken off. So I popped my trays back in. I had used my tongue to have a feel around the inside of my mouth and where I'd had the IPR done, it did feel slightly rough, like there was a slight roughness to where my teeth had, you know, been perfectly round before. They were kind of straightened off a little bit, but it wasn't anything, you know, too noticeable. And when my gaps were then closed, I didn't feel a single thing. There was no sensitivity in my teeth. I was worried that I would have really sensitive teeth afterwards. Now, I will say I'm not prone to sensitive teeth. I'm not temperature sensitive or anything like that. Um, but yeah, after IPR, I felt no increased sensitivity. I didn't feel any pain either. I didn't take any painkillers before. I didn't need them though. There was no pain. In the first session, I will say, there was a tiny bit of bleeding on my gums and there was a little bit of pain only at the points where, you know, the the file floss was really up close and it was, yeah, it was all very tight and not great. However, this time was perfect. I collected my trays and off I went. That was super fast. I was in and out of the orthodontist in like 15 minutes. So I got a few different places with IPR. I got the top midline, I got the bottom midline, and I don't know, some other places, so. So that is my last session of IPR. They managed to, to combine the ones I needed before tray 16, which is tomorrow, and before tray 19, which will be in like a month. 
So yeah, that was so easy. Yeah, so now I have a straight line between my top middle teeth. Oh, and this one. Okay, so I had this one, I have the middle one, top middle and the bottom middle. Yeah, absolutely no complaints. That was the easiest IPR I have had. So I've had ones that were kind of around the sides. The around the side ones were slightly trickier. So the IPR that I had today was right at the front. And I think because it was right at the front, it was slightly easier for me, like less claustrophobic. Um, so I was slightly more chilled this time having the IPR right at the front. Um, when I have had it around at the side teeth, it has been fine, but it's been like, ugh, I don't know, tricky, stressful. But yeah, that was absolutely fine. So I'm gonna head home. I did have a little mouthwash beforehand. Uh, I have mouthwash with me, so I might have a little swirl. And yeah, that was really easy. Back from IPR, they managed to do three little spaces today and that I think is my IPR complete. So all I needed to do today was use one of the mechanical file attachments. So the reason that today was slightly easier than the previous sessions is because my teeth were less crammed. In the other sessions I've had of IPR, my teeth have been so tightly packed together that they've needed to go in first of all with a wee strip of like sandpaper floss and by hand you know floss between my teeth with this sandpaper it's kind of a gritty feeling and it almost wants like there's a bit of force and it almost feels like it's kind of pulling at your tooth sandpapering the only thing they did today was use the kind of IPR bit I don't know the technical terms for any of these things, but basically where it's mechanical, so it moves back and forth mechanically, there's much less pooling. It feels less um, pressure on my teeth. I think the mechanical IPR piece is much easier. Today, all I needed to have was the mechanical piece because my teeth were kind of further apart. And it was right in the front, so there was like no you know, difficulty in reaching the areas or like having to move my lips out of the way or anything. It does sound scarier, I will say. So obviously it sounds like an orthodontist using some sort of drill, which, I don't know, doesn't spark joy in me, but I will say that the machine was slightly easier than the kind of little ribbon strips. It was quite a pleasant experience, to be honest, as IPR goes. It tastes um, a little bit like sand, they're obviously filing tiny bits of tooth away. It doesn't taste like burning. It tastes like something's going on though. Maybe, yeah, it tastes like a kind of a nail file. Um, I would say the taste of it reminds me if you're ever like filing your nail and then get a little bit in your mouth. It kind of tastes like nail filings. Like the texture is really gritty and there's like, it doesn't taste like fire, but you know, there's like a heat and a abrasion to it. So my whole mouth, tastes like nothing just now but right after the IPR it did feel like a tiny little bit gritty. Obviously they just set you up and give you some water to swish your mouth out and yeah that's fine. This time my gums did not bleed at all. In the past I think that the side ones they have bled a little bit but not today. So today was nice and simple and it was yeah very easy. So. So this is my third, I thought I was having more, but today they managed to conclude all of my IPR for what is on my treatment plan, which is very exciting. So, so today I got IPR here. You can see a tiny gap and I got IPR here. This gap, they didn't do any IPR on today, they'd done that previously. And this one, I got IPR on. Whenever I have IPR, I'm usually feeling a little bit gappy for a few days. It comes and goes and I don't think about it too much. And I still got these delightful attachments. Yeah, my midline is still off. Anyway, 